Alright guys, th there's three trinkets that we're going to be talking about in this video. First, there's this one, which you can get from the Brewfest that was a couple weeks ago. Then, there's this one right here, which is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a Dark Moon Fair card trinket or something like that. Either way, it's 10k on the auction house. Then there's this one right here, which is a standard PvP one that you can just buy with uh, Honor, or you can get the mail event one with Conquest. I'm just going to compare the health that we have uh, using the different trinkets here. So you can see that here I'm using the Stamina trinket, and I have 477k health. Here, I'm using the PvP trinket, and I only have 552k health, and this is self-buffed, by the way. The relic of New Zhao should always be used above the bubble, above this trinket right here. Um, it gives way more stats and dodge. And here you can see that our stamina will stack with this passive that Prot Warriors have. So it is a huge advantage to use stamina trinket. However, when you use the PvP trinkets, 1% damage reduction is provided per trinket that you have on. Using one stamina trinket will increase your heals that you gain from second wind. The whole theory behind using a stamina trinket is to have more consistent health to survive the burst that Mr. Pandaria has to offer in RBGs, which is ridiculous, Warlocks. The nice feature of having a PvP trinket is that you can use it in conjunction with your cooldowns to have an extreme amount of health to survive, but this is what I call burst survivability. When you use the stamina trinket, you have a more overall survivability and you still have the benefit of having your cooldowns increase your health even more from the stamina that you get from the trinket. If you're a human, this is the trinket combination that I recommend for you. It provides great sustainable survivability and burst survivability at the same time that it gives you another 1% survivability from the resilience. If you're not a human, evaluate the other team. You're probably going to want to use the burst survivability trinket or aka the PvP trinket if the other team is full of destruction warlocks or mages, basically any team that is spell burst heavy, especially with destruction warlocks, it's so annoying. When it comes down to it, just try and find out what your team's comfortable with you using. If they like the sustainable survivability the stamina trinket offers, then use it. Or if you can find out unique ways to use the PvP trinkets and you like the extra resilience they get, then use them. But right now, for me, I'm finding that the stamina trinket is helping me survive a lot longer because teams are rolling with a lot more uh, destruction warlocks, mages, etc, etc. And I can survive longer on a node by myself. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll be making a lot more prop warrior guides for you in the future. Leave your comments or opinions about this in the section below. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about the trinkets. Uh, anyways, I'll, just, I'll leave it at that. And everybody, thank you for watching. Have a good one.